Hello everyone, they are no longer welcome. Go back to Britain, Meghan Markle. Their marriage is definitely coming to an end. All we see is them acting fake smiles, fake looks. Oh, it's sickening. But it's okay. I know she's having a hard time. That's our comfort. As we know, these two are endless, crazy. And now I'll talk about how horrible Harry and Meghan's situation has grown and how it won't end well for them. Harry and Meghan's fate will be determined by the next elections, which I'll discuss. The Americans want them gone. I think Harry and Meghan realize they're done because Americans want them gone. This is what we're discussing today. Let's begin. This article was released. Chris David wrote this article. This piece by Christopher Kaufman is great for discussing since it covers the overall picture of Harry and Meghan's situation. So I'll highlight some aspects of this article. The piece is called we Americans are fed up with Meghan Markle, but I won't read it. Brits should take her back. Our opinion goes beyond returning the money. Our Americans must be returned. We reject her. It says this. So say what you want regarding Meghan Markle. A narcissist. We know she's boasting. She's disconnected. Basically, she can't read rooms. The girl can't read a room, which is why she's in this situation. She's still trying to get a job, trying to get an acting job, not realizing she was in the best role of her life. She's in this situation because of it. She believes she is. Okay, go do this without thinking. Guy, you lost a fantastic chance. For someone as determined as Megan, this is the issue. She was so focused on performing and being an A-lister in Hollywood and the lights that she neglected real life. Real life prospects outside Hollywood, those beyond that superficial world. She missed it which is why she's continuing on this hunt in this play called The Imitation of Royal Life. I've discussed it previously. It is exactly this. Soap opera. We saw this with this girl. The article states that, despite the Duchess's best efforts, her carefully curated home goods line, the wannabe state visit to Nigeria, and these perfectly plotted date nights, all the things she's done within the media, with paparazzi showing up, taking her pictures with Harry, like all the things she's worked so carefully on, and S. Despite these factors, just 30% of Americans like this woman. Even William and Catherine, the royals we know, and her spouse, like an American, are below her. She's inferior to Brits. It must be terrible to rank behind foreigners. It's terrible. With her new podcast and updated communication staff, Meghan is certainly continuing her tireless pursuit of relevancy. She keeps doing that, in spite of everything. Okay, Meghan is the most renowned emblem of America's strong tolerance for low expectations. But the actual Windsors are in the UK. We don't expect much from you. Meghan, show us your stuff, since we have minimal expectations. The time has come. I mean, you have Donald Trump, said Harry, and Meghan destroyed the Queen's heart. And we can see it. Even with someone as high profile as Trump, People have witnessed what you've done to break the hearts of this adored monarch. My Aunt Pamela loved the Queen, and we know what she feels about the royals. How do you know the Queen was loved? My thinking works this way. Okay. Honestly, I want to ask you, do you intend to boycott that woman? If yes, please comment number one, and if no, please comment number two. And how to boycott I will tell later. This is how I know I see one method to prove that Meghan's claims regarding the royals were false. Just a lie. Know how as the queen is not ghetto. Queen isn't ghetto. Queen wasn't slum. Excuse me. Late queen, her outrageous behavior was not going to happen. As Meghan claims, as I've maintained, if the royals were racist, you would never have entered the House of Windsor. I guarantee you wouldn't have gotten a ring that far. Girlfriend, the queen, family, and royals are exceedingly friendly. They'd rather not cause trouble. They lack drama. They're not debating with loud voices, shouting you out, and making you seem foolish on the international stage. They'll let you seem silly by saying nothing, since you can do crazy foolishly alone. Because they did it to Harry and Meghan. Nothing has been mentioned. Nothing. What happened to Harry and Meghan? On the international stage, they appear stupid. Royals are high class. They're not doing this. Princess Diana's drama was actually about her marriage to the king and her love 
for her spouse. That was Diana's complaint. Diana complained about her loveless marriage. Not Meghan. Meghan trashed the royal family, behaving foolishly and assuming they're just like any other American family. She calculated incorrectly, since that wasn't her reality. She made these ridiculous accusations without proof because she assumed she lived a middle-class American life. These individuals received the royal jewels, right? I couldn't snap photographs when I saw the Queen's treasures in the castle. Not even photos were allowed. You won't have the same disagreements or concerns with the grandmother on the money household. You won't have the same conditions. Meghan underestimated her family. She felt she could imitate Diana. However, Diana was more royal than the royals and had a distinct dilemma. Meghan's mistake is mind-boggling. Amazing how badly you messed up. This wasn't necessary. Meghan knew the value of public image and personal success before marrying her prince. According to the report, she accomplished something. I think, from where you were, your accomplishments are impressive. You calculated, had the drive, and partly caught the Klug Prince. You accomplished something special. We'll wait and watch what you do next. You're going to do something now. We all had suspicions there. Like we... Okay, you married him. How will you proceed? It everything went sour after that. Intelligently used her mixed race origins to create a compelling competitive edge story when America embraced identity politics about a decade ago. She capitalized on a race she'd avoided for most of her life. Okay, I can profit on this, she said. Let me try using my black mother. I can utilize my darkness. She resisted it her whole life, but I think she's still trying to seem like a white woman when she could utilize more ethnic alternatives. That's her decision, but she doesn't appear to want to lean toward it. She'll embrace it enough to cause controversy and exploit it to her advantage. Meghan was headed for official somebody status with her flair and her narrative. With all this, she was on her way. Even if she was most renowned in quiet Toronto, where Suits was filmed, she was moving. Markle is well-educated and articulate, so she loves to tout mid-level accomplishments. Her crowning achievement will always be becoming a Windsor. She didn't see it as an accomplishment. She utilized it to continue her routine. Queen Charlotte and her legacy are known across America, despite her vigorous attempts to alter her history, whose claimed mixed origin or lineage has been lavishly imagined in the Bridgerton series. Just look at Queen Charlotte's little contributions to our nation's beginnings. She's ingrained in our nation in many ways. However, since then, no king has been multiracial. The last divorcee to marry a senior relative went into exile. Meghan did what many thought was impossible diversifying a thousand-year-old organization that usually changes through assassination or conflict. Six years later, she and her prince wasted a crucial chance. They blasted it away. Same as poof, it was blown away. Actually, they did. If you disagree, you're stupid. You lack critical thinking. If you don't think she wasted it, you're stupid. Harry and Meghan's wastefulness looks to continue. None. Meghan's issue is that she still believes in her successes after she ceased accomplishing them. Because we know she talks about her 11-year-old actions. In middle school, she was proud of her dishwashing soap skills. Okay, let's speak about something else. Really? You're still talking about that? You must try other adjustments. But she's not. So her and Harry's $100 million Netflix pact yielded two self-serving biopics. One of Spotify's execs called the pair crooks after their ambitious Spotify partnership cost millions of dollars. A suspected money-laundering fugitive flew Harry and Meghan to Nigeria on his aircraft. As expected, they live large and pay as little as possible wherever they go. Wish they'd stayed in Britain. They should have stayed in Britain, as mentioned. Meghan saw this as a stopover to achieve her acting A-lister dreams. She didn't consider this a win. They've put themselves in a dilemma that I think will either worsen or disappear by November's elections when whoever becomes president in the US will see a lot for them. Or Harry must march his butt back to Britain because his butt is more likely to be deported. After the incident, Meghan divorced Harry and tried to become an actress. No matter what happens, she missed a fantastic chance. Now even Americans don't want her back. I think they destroyed a fantastic life. 
Time will tell. No matter how hard she tries to whitewash, the truth of what she did cannot be forgotten. She bullied Charlotte when she actually wanted to get at Catherine. How can you hurt a mother the most? If you hurt her children, what she didn't realize at this moment was that she was threatening and challenging the future queen. She mistook Catherine as a commoner and worse as an equal, which she wasn't. Catherine had to earn the respect of the royal family for many years to be in the position she is now. She did so by never setting a foot wrong and mostly by respecting the protocol, since this was very dear to Queen Elizabeth. And there comes the trollop who thinks they are equal. She thought she would be able to manipulate the royal family and they would allow her to have everything she wanted, including living in the palace with Her Majesty the Queen. Even pushing the Queen off the throne, Harry said, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets. How foolish of them both. She blew his head up and he fell for it. She's always been bitter and sinking. She never got any jobs without favors and help from others. I think it was her plan from the start to make up lies and paint herself as a victim after marrying into the family to emulate Diana, which of course did not work, and then head off to the US to become some sort of power couple, which also failed because everybody can see through them and their BS. She never planned to be a working royal. Do you think the same? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching my video. Please support us more. I hope to receive more love from everyone by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Sending thousands of kisses to everyone. Goodbye and see you again.